is some room in the Syracuse defense. Will Hunter is there to make the stop. He is in orange territory. It is a gain of six. The most talked about group at Auburn. They were projected to be the weak spot of the team, but no more. Ben Nowland is the anchor. He's from Florida up front, the center. And on the other side, Christian Ferrara is the one who had the somewhat controversial hit on the quarterback. He is the key up front to stopping the run. Second and two for Auburn. Both receivers come to the near side. And penalty marker goes flying. First. Prior to the snap, false start, offense. Five yard penalty, still second down. Jack Kramer is our referee tonight. It'll go against Auburn. As far as linebackers for Syracuse, Jamil Dumas may be the best in a decade at Syracuse. Clifton Smith, the leading tackler for the Syracuse team. They are very aggressive. Seems as if a lot of pressure is being put on free safety. O'Neal Scott to become another Donovan Darius. He's not there yet, but they believe he can be. So it'll be second and seven from the 46-yard line of Auburn. Cobb wants to throw and overshoots his intended target. There were about three receivers in that zip code. Jerris McIntyre was uh, probably the closest receiver. Numbers on Daniel Cobb. Very spirited quarterback battle between himself and Jason Campbell in the preseason. Campbell started eight games last year, Cobb the rest. But they opted for Cobb because of the fact that Offensive coordinator Bobby Petrino felt like he could manage the offense just a little bit better and was going to be mistake free. Third and seven for Auburn. Cobb now working out of the shotgun. Across the middle and almost intercepted. Jerris McIntyre, the receiver for Cobb, but overshot him. And the interception was almost made by Keon Walker. I found it. That was strange, strange play calls here on second and third down. When Carnell Williams is running as well as he is, you would think you might as well stay with it. This is a bad throw by Cobb. He's got time. He just floats, and he's lucky he didn't get that one picked. Damon Duvall, one of the best punters in college football, averaging almost 50 yards per punt. Jameel Riddle is the deep man for Syracuse. It's it's an, yeah, an end over end punt. Loses the ball, picks it back up. And Riddle has some room. Look out. Riddle near sideline. One man to beat. Goodbye. Riddle into the end zone. Touchdown. Jameel Riddle. What a block by Jeremiah Mason on Damon Duvall, the punter. It's an 85-yard return after he couldn't handle the punt. How many times do you see it happen, both on a kickoff and on a punt? When the guy fumbles it or bobbles a little bit, you can see people easing up just a little bit. Watch the blue shirts. They start to ease up. They're waiting for somebody else to make a tackle. Look at all those blue shirts. Now he gets to the outside, and the only guy he has to beat is the punter, and he, he's beaten easily thanks to Jeremiah Mason, who knocks him down. Money for Riddle. Blocking punters is always good sport, isn't it? Well, it also means that 86,000 suddenly have laryngitis. <laughs> and the orange looks friendly if you're Syracuse now. Colin Barber with a point after attempt. And he extends it to a 10-0 Syracuse lead here at Jordan-Hare Stadium. Well, right at the top of the show, Jeff, we talked about the reality that special teams are going to be a big issue. Paul Pasqualoni always has his teams prepared, and Jamel Riddle is able to execute 82-yard punt return for six. Uh, a father teaching his son about cars. Teaching? Look at that brake dust buildup, Manny. Ooh. You know, Quiet Stop brake ceramic lining cuts down on squeaking and brake dust. Right now, he would save up to $40 on Raybestos Quiet Stop brake service. Just see store for details. They'll make that kid's job a lot easier. And Dad's car a lot quieter. Looks like it's time for a father and son trip to Pep Boys. Pep, Pep Boys. Boys. We're, We're car, car people. people. Rated E for everyone. Sega. Dave Logan is single. 
He goes on many dates. What is it that you do? Uh, I'm a lawyer. I hate lawyers. And he uses his Discover card. Check, please. So far, he's built up a cash back bonus award of over $160. You're kind of boring. Check, please. What do you think this thing's going between us? Because you know my clock's kind of ticking. Check, please. It's money he'll use for an engagement ring someday. So, uh, what do you do for a living? Maybe someday soon. I'm a lawyer. Discover Card's new cash back bonus program. Really? Where you get paid for the things you buy anyway. Ever wondered what it's really like to be a soldier? What do you got? I have a sip rep from Alpha Company. You ready to be verified? Verified! Put yourself in the picture with this free video. You'll see over 200 great jobs in the Army and over 180 in the Army Reserve. You'll also see what skills you learn, how you can earn money for college, even what soldiers do in their free time. Call 1-800-984-ARMY now and get this free t-shirt and your free video. Put yourself in the picture and see what it's really like to become an Army of One. You are watching ESPN2's coverage of college football, where the Syracuse Orangemen are taking on the Auburn Tigers from Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. It is a place where the Tigers have had an incredible amount of success over the years. In fact, they have been 14-1 since 2000. Auburn has an 11-game winning streak in non-conference games at home, and they're 228-55-7 at Jordan-Hare over the years. Due to time constraints, we're moving ahead to further action in this game. We'll be right back after these messages. It's a road game, one we can't afford to lose. At Auburn University, we're tackling transportation challenges head on. Home to a one-of-a-kind test track at Auburn's National Center for Asphalt Technology. Engineers, students, and technicians develop and test new road surfacing methods. The knowledge we gain on the track paves the way for more durable and safer roads across the nation. Auburn, working to make us all winners on the road. For over 60 years, Brubaker Buick has served the automotive needs of Central Alabama, and we plan to be here for another 60 years serving you. And Brubaker Buick invites you to come see our new LeSabre model, the best-selling full-size family sedan in America for 10 years in a row. Come see our new Buick Century. We call it our little limousine. Also see our all-new Buick Rendezvous, the perfect sport utility for the entire family. All on sale now with generous rebates and discounts here at Brubaker Buick, 300 Eastern Bypass. As an open-heart surgeon, I have seen situations arise in the operating room every day which require a tremendous amount of blood transfusion. Dr. Stephen Kwan talks about LifeSouth Community Blood Bank. I cannot operate without an adequate blood supply. Your donation to LifeSouth ensures that I have the necessary tools to save a life. Baptist and Jackson Hospitals rely on your blood donations to LifeSouth Community Blood Bank. Sponsor a blood drive. Give blood. Save a life. Blue so far goes to Syracuse here in the opening quarter from Jordan Hare, Tommy Tuberville, and Paul Pascaloni. It, it occurs to me that one of the things that Paul Pascaloni was probably talking to R.J. Anderson about on the sidelines, you're deep in your own territory. Don't risk audibly. Just go with the play that's called. First and ten from the 21-yard line for Syracuse. Anderson wants to throw. And batted down a fine job up front by DeMarco McNeil, 6'2", 295, the junior out of Pritchard, Alabama, who knocks down the football. We mentioned at the top of the show how valuable he is in terms of stopping the run. If you can't get to the quarterback, they say, then jump and get in his face, and that's exactly what McNeil does. Very athletic play for the 300-pounder. As we pointed out, when he was out of the lineup last year, the team scored a few more points on him. Second and ten. Play action. Dumping wide open for Syracuse. David Tyree. And across the 30, up to the 32-yard line, tackle by Horace Willis. It is a gain of 11 and enough for a first down. The staple in the offense of Syracuse is the misdirection then come with the boot. Tyree comes underneath as the wide receiver. Usually that's the fullback. See to the right of your screen. He's in motion. He comes and gets the ball. Now there's nobody waiting. That's a pretty decent open field tackle by Willis. There is first and ten now with the ball at the 31 yard line two receivers to the top of the screen and the give is to Damian Rhodes and he will find no room at all if behind the line of scrimmage a good job by Auburn's 
Thomas and also Torber are there. It's a loss of three. Torber last week was the SEC Defensive Player of the Week. Four tackles, two sacks, a caused fumble, and a fumble recovery. He is their speed rusher out to the outside in Rhodes as the youngster will learn this. Of course, when he's in high school, he's faster than everybody else. Now at the Division I level, that's not the case. Well, Auburn's had a lot of fine defensive linemen and linebackers over the years. I think about Tracy Rocker comes to mind immediately. Second and 13. The pitch, the reverse. It is David Tyree. Tyree with terrific speed across the 40. And down as he hits the 41-yard line. It's a gain of 12. He'll be about a yard short of a Syracuse first down. Now, this is interesting on the reverse. We just talked about Torbor, and he, he holds his ground. Torbor is able to hold his ground, but the quarterback, RJ, is able to... Now, watch him when he follows here, Torbor. He holds his ground. He's not fooled. But the quarterback does a great job of pushing him out so far that Tyree's able to cut underneath and get the extra yardage, setting up a third and very short. I think we'll see a lot of reverses because of the speed of the Auburn defense tonight. Certainly some misdirection. Absolutely. Third and one. And a timeout has been taken by Auburn. They only had 10 men on the field. So each team has had two penalties. It is 10-0 Syracuse leading Auburn. We are Jordan Hare in Auburn, Alabama. The very best of Fleetwood Mac. Now, the greatest songs from one of the world's greatest bands ever on one great collection. The very best of Fleetwood Mac 2 CD collection features songs from three decades of their brilliant career. Thirty-six of the most memorable songs of all time. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. The collection includes a CD enhancement featuring exclusive footage of the making of their new 2003 album, their first new studio album in 15 years. best of Fleetwood Mac is the ultimate collection. To order the very best of Fleetwood Mac 2 CD collection, call the number on your screen or send check or money order for $24.98 plus shipping and handling to the address shown. Call now and receive a free lithograph with your order. Rush delivery available. You are watching ESPN2's coverage of college football, where the Syracuse Orangemen are taking on the Auburn Tigers from Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. It is a place where the Tigers have had an incredible amount of success over the years. In fact, they have been 14-1 since 2000. Auburn has an 11-game winning streak in non-conference games at home, and they're 228-55-7 at Jordan-Hare over the years. Due to time constraints, we're moving ahead to further action in this game. We'll be right back after these messages. It's my mother's recipe. Oh, candles. Roscoe! Roscoe! Oh! I, I don't know what got into him. You'll find any excuse to go out back for our perfectly grilled shrimp and our tender ribs with chicken on the barbie. He used to be so well behaved. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. Promise you'll call me? I will. I promise. No Whatever you are, whatever you do, Ali 
alliance with its partners is the power beside you. Growing in numbers. Growing in speed. People that come together. We are the latest stars. We are the latest stars. No one can stop us now. No one can stop us now. Because we are the latest stars. We are the latest stars. 10 nothing Syracuse. Only 109 yards total offense, Todd. Defense has been stout for Auburn on first and ten. Anderson will keep the football and bust a move up to the 34-yard line. Nice job. It's a gain of 12 and enough for a first down. A missed tackle by Dontarius Thomas. Could have had him trapped, but let him out. Well, yeah, missed tackle, but take a look at the juke he puts on him. He actually did look like the number five before that. Man, oh, man. It's a planned play. The quarterback draw, he cuts up and just leaves Thomas in his track. Syracuse has really had some bad field position in this game. I mean, you, you take a look at what they have done from their 9, from their 5, from their 9, from their 20. I mean, they just haven't had much. And here is the give. Some running room. Reyes. One man to beat. And Reyes is touchdown Syracuse 68 yards so another big play for Syracuse tonight and they have extended their lead on Auburn here at Jordan Hare well once again the right side of the offensive line for Syracuse just creates a huge gap Reyes how exciting for him and don't forget, you know, we were talking up, we were talking up Rose. Reyes is the starter. He's been averaging over 90 yards a game. It's not like he's a stiff. That was a great run. Two gigantic plays for Syracuse. Oh, the Reyes, the touchdown. He's now got eight carries, 101 yards. And, of course, the touchdown. The point after attempt is good. Another look at Walter Reyes. Well, everybody, this is what happens. You start talking about number one, you start talking about Rhodes, and Reyes says, well, you know what? Talk about Rhodes all you want, but I'm the starter, and check it out. 68 yards later, I'm a touchdown maker. Keep him locked up in the trailer. ESPN College Game Day, presented by Discover Card, Saturdays, 10.30 a.m. It all starts here, grade school, the place where our children begin preparing for life. And the SEC recognizes the responsibility teachers have to affect their future. The SEC's education initiative, every elementary school and library throughout the Southeast is getting this wonderful CD-ROM. It uses athletics to reinforce math and reading skills, and it teaches things like teamwork and good sportsmanship. The Southeastern Conference, creating a legacy for the future. NFL 2000. At AMC Network, we're so passionate about monster movies, it's scary. Presenting Monster Fest 24-7. All your favorite monster movies, 24 hours a day for seven days. Starts October 25th, only on AMC. Log on for your chance to win a plasma screen TV. And make sure you have a high-speed cable modem. He's so authentic. They entertain and inspire us. His waywardness was certainly a concern. They expect her to try to find light. They intrigue and terrify us. Now from CNN and People Magazine, a new program that takes you behind the headlines to profile the lives of people in the news. Sunday on CNN. Reach your customers with Cable Vantage. News coverage of college football, where the Syracuse Orangemen are taking on the Auburn Tigers from Jordan Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. It is a place where the Tigers have had 
an incredible amount of success over the years. In fact, they have been 14-1 since 2000. Auburn has an 11-game winning streak in non-conference games at home, and they're 228-55-7 at Jordan-Hare over the years. Due to time constraints, we're moving ahead to further action in this game. We'll be right back after these messages. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. I know this shit. Do it. No, I can't do it. I can't Man. do it. Come on, what are you afraid of? I'm scared of commitment. Oh. It's not a commitment. It's 10 10 220. Yeah, but don't I have to sign up first? That's the beauty of 10 10 220. You don't have to sign up. Oh, so I just dial it, then one, then the number. Then it's 99 cents for all calls up to 20 minutes. So I just dial it. You just dial it. Right now. Right now. A little privacy, please. Oh, man. Oh, check, please. Dial 10 10 220. First, we brought you baseball like no one else. Now, get ready for football. Two great American sports, one super magazine. USA Today Sports Weekly. Call now for a special charter subscription to the new Sports Weekly. 26 weeks for only $14.95. Or at a newsstand near you. Get your copy of USA Today Sports Weekly now. Attention inventors. Need a patent? Then you need Inventec, the launch pad for new ideas. Only Inventec offers a free new product market analysis and a free bonus video. It's the first step towards a patent and marketing success. Call 1-800-516-7766. With your market analysis, learn the secrets the pros use to take it to the next level. Call now and receive your free analysis, free marketing info, and a free video. Call 1-800-516-7766 to receive your free package. Third and three. Job wants to throw. Across the middle, and it's caught. First down and more. Marcel Willis. Look out for Willis. Willis cutting the move and inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. Big play by Willis. 75 yard gain. Tackled by Clifton Smith. We talked about O'Neill Scott at the free safety. Has to see this. They're coming across the field. There's nobody in the middle of the field. Take a look. Now watch right. Watch the crossing route. Going to come underneath. Now where are the people here? Look at all the white shirts going in this direction. Now instead, Clifton Smith sees him coming. But Clifton Smith can't stay with him man for man. Now look at all the yardage downfield. O'Neill Scott, the free safety, has to see that. Cut to the outside and minimize this game. And at the end, Scott comes a little bit too late. And even then, the tackle is broken. Extra yardage. Great effort by Willis. With a minute 25 left. Auburn trying to get on the scoreboard. First and 10. The give is to Cadillac, and they stop the play. A motion penalty from the far side of the football field. Well, Taylor Pitt. Bourgeois may have moved. Uh, you know what? Tackle. You really want to say I was, I was almost going to say that. I really want to say that. Bourgeois. Part of bourgeois. 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 Okay, you say Bourgeois, Bourgeois. I can say Proletarian. Yeah, not a problem, All right. Mr. Marks. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I just thought it was interesting. Once again, you saw Clifton Smith and Williams together again. I, this is this is just this is good football. I, I just love to see things like that. The collisions against two terrific athletes, both playing at their peak. What a surprise, though. What a surprise. I mean, who would have figured this? I did. Okay. Oh, did my nose hit you, Pinot? Forget Pinot? it, there. I lied. <laughs> Geppetto. First. <laughs> From the shotgun. Cobb. And as he gets rid of the football, he is hit by Ryan Lacasse, who smacked him. Thursday, 7.30 on ESPN, it's Bowden Bowl Fours. Running back Greg Jones in perennial ACC powerhouse Florida State. Host quarterback Willie Simmons and Clemson. College football Thursday, presented by Circuit City on ESPN. Ah, the Bowden family. You would know this better than I because you're, you live in the South. Who, who does mom root for? I think she is supportive of all of her lads. Oh, come on. Don't don't give me the politically correct Oh, wait a minute. You've got all those sons. You know the answer to that. Here is Cobb out of the shotgun. 
dumping it to the near side, and Cadillac is hit. Cadillac is parked at the 19 by Keon Walker. Great hit by the strong safety from Hoboken, Frank Sinatra's hometown. Great open field tackle. Fly me to the moon. Let me stay amongst the oh, stars. He's seeing stars. Did you like that? I was wedge waiting the, to see where you the, were going with the well, lyrics. Come on, wedge the Sinatra yeah. stars thing with the hit. Come on, you said Hoboken, his hometown. I've got you under my skin. Well, regardless. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm going to do I'm, You keep that up. I'm going to do it my way, all right? I could use the summer wind right now. Let's go to Matt Weiner right now in our studio. All right, Jeff, coming up at halftime, a near SEC upset as Kentucky gives the Gators all they could possibly want in the swap. The celebration is on tonight in Ames, Iowa, after Iowa State puts a hurting on Nebraska, a historic win for the Cyclones. Plus, Pac-10 action. I'll tell you who put up 65 points and who won the only top 25 matchup of the Pac-10. Trev Alberts, Mark May, and me coming up at the half. All right, Matt. Still surprised to see Nebraska's struggles this year, aren't you? I am. But when you're looking at this situation, they call timeout. They want to get a play. You've got third and extremely long. You're looking at about, looking about what, 15 yards. You need to resist the temptation of just wanting to throw it into the end zone because clearly Syracuse if Chris rip on it, I'm sure this is what his thinking was said. Hey, you know what? We're going to rush three and back some people up. I'm thinking that a draw play or just maybe an off tackle here to get to the middle of the field. Say, hey, let's kick the field goal. Go in down 14. Don't want to force it here. Well, let's see. Third and 16 from the shotgun formation for Daniel Cobb in Auburn. Trailing 17 nothing inside a minute. Cobb with time firing into the end zone. Oh, by himself was Marcel Willis. Nobody within seven or eight yards of Millis as he was racing to the middle of the end zone. Well, I guess that's why I'm no prognosticator. Take a look. You're going to see at the bottom of the screen, the free safety vacates. Great protection, sees what he wants, but just can't deliver on the money. Look, oh, how frustrating is that? Wide open. Marcel Willis. Marcel Willis. And he certainly wants that one back, as does Cobb. Oh, man. He knows he had it. This will be a 37-yard. Let's check it again. It's 34-yard field goal by Damon Duvall. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So Duvall has put Auburn on the scoreboard with 34 seconds left before the end of the first half. It's now 17-3. So they do not get shut out here in the first half. Well, Syracuse defense has really risen to the occasion. All the things that you pointed out, all those negative stats coming in, evidently, sometimes they don't mean a thing. They've been colliding. I tell you what, Cobb has been paying a price. And, of course, Carnell Williams has been getting his yards, but he has been paying for those, too, and all sorts of collisions. It bears repeating, Syracuse ranked 108th in the nation against the run and 114th in the nation in total defense. Well, Williams is getting his yards. He, Williams is getting his yards, but you know what? He's getting his yards between the 20s. He's got 18 carries, 77 yards right now. Monrico Crittenden a little bit sore. Clifton Smith is saying, come on, let me go hit something else. I'll take a blow. It's all good. Shaved head. You know what? That's a tough guy, isn't it? Yes. I mean, that's not. That's. You know what? We're never going to hear the phrases Clifton Smith interior decorator. I don't see it. You know what I mean? This guy is tough. He is tough. But doing you are. Some, he's doing some rearranging though of the Auburn offense. Well, but you, one thing you are going to hear is Clifton Smith on Sunday. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right about that. Philip Yost getting ready to kick off. The hometown kid, the sophomore out of Auburn. Damien Rhodes is deep. And Rhodes will take it at the two. Rhodes with some running room. And a fine job by Damian Rhodes up to the 43-yard line, tackled by the kicker, Philip Yost. We welcome the men and women of the U.S. Naval Hospital in Naples, Italy, providing service to over 10,000 personnel throughout the Mediterranean and watching this telecast on the Armed Forces Network. Thanks to all of you 
and for all the work that you do for us. Interesting with regards to the 17 to 3 score, just to show you how numbers can be deceptive. The two touchdowns on a 68 yard touchdown run and an 85 yard punt return. With regards to that, 117 total yards on 24 other plays. So really, you know, you look at that, the Auburn defense actually has played fairly well. 24 seconds left here in the first half. 17-3 Syracuse. And again, it's to Chris Davis, the fullback. Tackled by Jay Retlip. Well, and nothing there. Evidently, they're content. I would have thought that after that great kickoff return, they might have taken a couple of shots downfield. But instead, I guess a 14-point lead is enough for Paul Pasqualoni and, and his charges. The end of the first half. Syracuse surprising Auburn. All Orangemen, 17-3. Next time you're on the road and you need to fill your tank, here's something to consider. New Shell gasoline is specially formulated to help prevent deposit buildup in your engine, which helps keep it clean. And a clean engine performs better, which is why when they're looking for more from their gasoline, so many drivers choose Shell. are one of a kind. A better price you'd be hard pressed to find. Quality construction, that's our guarantee. Old Navy painters, you're the pants for me. The price is nice. He'll wear this pair. Wow, they're just 15 to $20 for men and boys. Old Navy, we are there. How to cut your current monthly bills by as much as 50% or more. Hi, I'm Bob Vila. Sometimes, no matter how hard you work at it, you just can't seem to make ends meet. You're writing those checks every month, and you just barely have enough money to pay your bills, much less save anything. Want to change all that? Here's how. Call Home 123. They can help you cut your monthly bills by as much as 50%. Let's say these are some of your monthly payments. Home 123 can show you how to turn all those payments into one low monthly payment that could be as little as half of what you're paying now. In this example, that would be almost $500 extra in your pocket. Just think what you could do with money like that. You could make it happen right now with one call. If you own your home, call Home 123. Even if your credit isn't exactly perfect, they'll come up with a loan that's right for you. Call now and see how easy it can be to make ends meet. There's no obligation, so call this number now to speak to the loan counselors at Home 123. It's how to get the money you need. How to cut your current monthly bills by as much as 50% or more. Hi, I'm Bob Vila. This chair has layer after layer of paint on it. You might know the feeling if you don't pay your full credit card balances every month. Layers of expensive finance charges on top of principal until, well, it seems like you'll never get out from under. But you can. If you own a home, it's as easy as one, two, three. Home 123. Look, the loan counselors at Home 123 can show you how to consolidate your monthly payments into one low monthly payment that could be as little as half of what you're paying now. In this example, that would be almost $500 extra in your pocket. And unlike credit card interest, this interest may be tax deductible. Imagine, you may actually find yourself with hundreds of extra dollars and eliminate the stress of all those layers of debt. If you own your home, call Home 123. There's no obligation, so call this number now to speak to the loan counselors at Home 123. It's how to get the money you need. Jeff Ellinger here at halftime, where Syracuse, the Orangemen, are leading the Auburn Tigers 17-3 from Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. It has been a massive surprise. I don't think anybody thought Syracuse would have this kind of lead on Auburn at halftime, but really it's been on the strength of two big plays. Jamel Riddle, a 85-yard punt return, and Walter Reyes, a 68-yard run. We'll be back with second-half action right after this. 17-3, Syracuse leads. Tuesday, John looks good. Your father looks fine. Fine, just fine. Jim looks good. You are a nine. Only a nine? Two devoted husbands, two dedicated dads. What's it called when, when you're damned if you do, damned if you don't? Oh, yes, fatherhood. One dilemma. You have a big head, Daddy. Daughters. No. No. You understand what I'm saying? No. Eight simple rules and, according to Jim, together for the first time, Tuesday at 8, 7 central on ABC. 
Stuart Scott and the gang get you ready for Monday night. Monday Night Countdown, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN. Delivered by UPS. When you have money problems, just going to the mailbox can be frightening. The bills and balances keep piling up. You're scared to even look. It's the same when the phone rings. You know it's another creditor, so you're afraid to answer. I don't know how my debt got so out of control. I thought bankruptcy was the only way out. And then I called Ameridad and found the answer. Every day, Ameridad helps more people with money problems. We're a nonprofit organization offering free consultations and solutions to consumers seeking to eliminate their debt. Now I don't have to struggle to keep up my monthly payments. And I won't spend the next 20 years paying off my credit card bills. Ameridad contacted my creditors. They were able to get my interest rates reduced, and my payments were almost cut in half. Now my balances are dropping, and I only have one small monthly payment. Call this number, and in minutes, regardless of your situation, Ameridad can help change your financial future. Ameridad gave me my life back. Ameridad, helping America get out of debt. And welcome back to Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. Syracuse all over the hometown Tigers. It has been a surprise, and maybe a surprise in how they've done it. They've done it with big plays. They haven't done it with any sustained offense tonight. Very impressive in terms of the return yardage. It has been outstanding. But the one thing that catches my attention here, you brought up all the statistics, 108th against the run, 114th total defense, giving up 500 yards. It just goes to show that from week to week, there are no guarantees. Syracuse defense has been outstanding in the first half. Philip Yost kicking off, and Damian Rhodes will down it, and up to the 20-yard line, Syracuse will take over. 17-3, Syracuse leading Auburn. I'm Jeff Hullinger along with Todd Christensen. And I think we thought we were going to see a much closer game here in the first half. This has been a Syracuse team that, that really has played very well defensively. Statistically, they have not been very impressive. But tonight, against this off offense of Auburn, they have been tough stuff. And they've had every reason to not play well. It's the long travel, the humidity, everything mm -hmm. going against them. And yet, they're the ones that came out ready to play. They're the ones that were excited, hence the reason why they're up two touchdowns. And they have the ball first here to begin the second half. It is first and ten for R.J. Anderson. The option, he will keep the football, and not much there. Pick up of one. It'll be second and nine. Take a look at the ESPN2 game track. And, and Tom, this is really uh, the return yard. It really is. You know, not only, not only do you have that great punt return, but of course that great kickoff return just at the end of the first half, and I'm sure but the special teams had to be reevaluated for Auburn there at halftime. But boy, oh boy, you see Orange Crush deep. <laughs> That's very clever. Where is Robert Red Miller tonight of the Denver Broncos? <laughs> very clever. Well, I tell you what, maybe, maybe at this point Auburn would prefer that. Second and nine. Anderson wants to throw. Pumps in trouble. Gets it away, and it's incomplete. The intended target was Andre Fontenet, and he can't hang on to the football. It'll bring up third and nine. You had an interesting statistic, Todd, that you came up with uh, about non-conference games for Tommy Tuberville. He, uh, he really has had a lot of amazing success. You take a look at going back to Ole Miss, 18 and 0 in non-conference games, 9 and 0 at Auburn. Very good. Yeah. I, so with those statistics, you would have thought this would have been, yeah. you know, cakewalk. Not the case. Third down conversions, one of five. Third and nine, shotgun formation for Anderson. Has time, and intercepted. Picked off by Auburn of R.J. Anderson. And that will set this big crowd on fire here. Carlos Rogers, the right cornerback, comes up with the deflected football, and Auburn is in business. Remember at the end of the first half, I had commented that Cobb on a crossing route had thrown the ball a little bit too hard for the receiver. Again, this is certainly a catchable ball, but he just guns this ball right here. It's a little bit behind him, and in some cases, maybe you're better off not to try and get it. Jared Jones tries to reach back. The result is a pop-up turnover for Auburn. That's a great temptation of a receiver yep. that you need to leave some footballs alone. But then again, you don't know who's behind you. Maybe if you let it go, it's intercepted. He made an effort. Turned out badly. Yeah, had four total turnovers tonight. First and ten for Daniel Cobb. And a penalty marker goes flying. In fact, the quarterback is Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell replaces Daniel Cobb. 
to begin the third quarter. Delay. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Let's go to Stacey Pates along the sideline. I spoke with both coaches at the half, and Coach Tuberville, I asked him, what do you say to these guys in the locker room after the first half to get them going? Tuberville says, hey, we're at home in front of our hometown crowd, and if that's not enough, what can I say? Coach Pasqualoni, I said, you told us earlier that you wanted to eliminate big plays. That's what he told us a couple days ago, and win turnover battles. And I said, do you feel that you've wrecked their game plan? Coach says, yeah, we just want to do more of the same in the second half. Darnell Williams, Stacy, up to the 24-yard line, tackled by O'Neal Scott, and it is a gain of 12 yards, so it'll bring up second and three. As Stacy was talking, you could see the frustration on Tuberville. He had his reverse set, and instead there's a penalty. They got everything going, momentum got the turnover. They didn't get what they wanted. He's a little bit frustrated, but here's the point. With 13 and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter, they can continue to ride the Cadillac. It's not like they have to change their game plan. Jason Campbell at quarterback, and the handoff is to Cadillac. And knocked out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. That, going back to that delay of game, I mean, that's what happens, Todd, when you shuffle your quarterbacks in and out. I mean, it, it's going to take them a, a, a while to find the rhythm. You know what? You don't buy that. No, no, no. Come on. Not when you just got the ball on the turnover. You should be excited to head out there. There's no excuse for that. Just trying to be a quarterback apologist. As a tight end, you're not going to let that happen. Well, why wouldn't I? Tight ends, <laughs> quarterbacks are my best friends. <laughs> Carnell Williams. It is first and ten. Gamble rolling, throwing, and completing to Robert Johnson, the tight end. 6'6, 270, the junior out of Montgomery. It's a gain of seven. Yeah, yeah, by Rich Gamble. Three very good tight ends that can all catch the ball, but Johnson's the biggest of the group. Number 87. Reminds me a little bit. They had a tight end here by the name of Reese McCall. Reese Too Tall McCall, 6'7, 240. He reminds me a little bit of him. Second and three. Cadillac trying to turn the corner and cutting it in. And tackled by Clifton Smith. His shadow, it's no gain. It'll you bring know, up third down. Great job on the part of the defense. And again, Clifton Smith. But the one thing that I like about Williams, well, there's many things to like about him. But for the third time now, the penetration has been such that it should have been a negative play. Should have been a negative three, negative four, negative five yard play. Every single time he's either got back to the line of scrimmage or got extra yards. And now they come up third and short as opposed to, say, third and seven and eight. And we know that's a huge difference. Williams has not had a lot of room tonight. He's really had to fight for every yard that he has been able to get. Third and three shotgun formation for Campbell. He'll keep the football. Charging ahead. And he has it up for the first down for Auburn. Tackle by Jeremiah Mason, the left cornerback, to make the tackle on Campbell. It's a good call. You spread everybody out. You just ran with Williams. You say to yourself, here's the deal. You know what? He's got to be throwing downfield. Takes the step back, cuts back. Good job on the left side of the offensive line. Frankly, I thought Campbell could have got a little bit more out of this, but he gets enough for the first down. Not, Cobb is limping. I, I think it's more than just the fact that he had struggled. I think he's in some pain. First and goal for Auburn. Double tight end set. The pitch is to Cadillac. Charging ahead is Cadillac. Tackle by Keon Walker and Will Hunter. It's a gain of six and very close to the end zone. When you think about somebody who is 5'11", 205, you don't think in terms of a power back. But he continues to make people miss, and people miss tackles. Right here, once again, it should be a negative play in the backfield, but just cannot wrap up. In that case, that was Hunter, and the result is nearly a touchdown for Williams. Second and goal from the one. Auburn trying to get into the end zone for the first time tonight. Williams charging ahead into the end zone. Very close. Is he? No. Inches short. 
Williams now 23 carries in 100 yards. Will Hunter is there to make the stick on Carnell Williams. Well, that's interesting because, remember, Hunter was the guy that didn't get it before. Take a look at the right of your screen coming over the top. Sure enough, they get him just a little bit short. A little bit short. Nice job by good Will Hunter. You didn't say that, did you? Afraid so. Now down on the turf is Johnson, Brandon Johnson, their fullback. And not just their fullback now. He is arguably their best special teams player. He's on most every special team that they have. 6'1", 235. He is a junior. We should, we should say something about Williams here because he's been outstanding in this drive. You might be saying to yourself at home, you know, it's 80 degrees. And he's already carried the ball 23 times. He's certainly going to wear down, isn't he? At some point, he's going to get a little bit tired. Somebody else is going to have to come in and take a blow. No. Remember we talked about they had Bo Jackson, Joe Cribbs, all those great runners at Auburn. The record for carries in a single game by a back is 41 by that man last year against <laughs> Georgia. Wow. Well, they've had some great football players at Auburn over the years. And Carnell Williams joining that lot. Great running backs here. Of course, Takeo Spikes and Tracy Rocker on the defensive side. Now, when you look at that, I'm, I'm thinking those young runners that have had the opportunity in the last couple of games, they're watching a great runner out there, and they're thinking to themselves, huh, maybe a, a redshirt year, maybe? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, because if he doesn't get hurt, he's the guy. you got to ride that horse. Take a look at Johnson coming. Ooh, look at that. The knee Man. right in the head. Mm. And you know what's surprising about that? I would have thought, really, because he's helmeted up, that that would have hurt Clifton Smith more. Once again, a great collision by two very physical football players. Johnson not walking a straight line for the sidelines. Mm. If your number is 45, are you anything but a fullback? No. Uh, I, I can think of some H-backs okay. in right. various offenses. Okay. That just seems to me to bespeak a fullback number. Four Eight five. play of the drive for Auburn. Campbell keeps the football. Touchdown, Auburn. Their first touchdown of the ballgame coming in the third quarter against the Orangemen. Very, very tough to beat Auburn in this stadium at Jordan Hare over the years, 228, 55, and 7, and 14 and 1 over the last two years. Here's Damon Duvall getting ready for the point after attempt. And the kick is good. So here come the Tigers cutting in to the Syracuse lead. 17-10 here in the third quarter. Pizza Hut. There are big dogs here. Bobby, is that you? I'm having second thoughts about this whole NFL XL deal. A big New Yorker for $8.99 and a free two liter of Pepsi. All season long on Sundays and Mondays, it's gonna be the greatest deal around. Not from where I'm sitting. Try the NFL XL deal from Pizza Hut and Pepsi. Get a free two-liter Pepsi when you buy an extra large pizza for only $8.99. Only available this season on Sundays and Mondays. Only at Pizza Hut. You make the call. Come on in and watch the game. We'll deliver the deal. This is what the subject's teeth look like. I need your advice, Dr. Lecter. I'm all ears. He smashes mirrors and uses the pieces. Wears latex gloves so we've got no prints. What do we make of that symbol? It marks the red dragon. May I touch your face? Becoming more than a man. I am the dragon. I regret it came to this, but every game must have its end. Red Dragon, rated R, at theaters Friday. You have the ultimate power to look better, to be stronger, to redefine your body and yourself. Introducing the Bowflex Ultimate. Possibly the best home fitness machine ever made. 
In as little as 20 minutes a day, three times a week, you can get real results that can change your entire body. With over 90 Health Club quality exercises and up to 410 pounds of resistance, it's like having an entire gym in your home. Proflex is so effective that we guarantee you'll get the results you want in six weeks or less. Own the new Bowflex Ultimate with no money down and monthly payments lower than many health club dues. Call and ask for a free video and brochure and check out the entire Bowflex lineup or visit us on the web today. The new Bowflex for ultimate results. You are watching ESPN2's coverage of college football where the Syracuse Orangemen are taking on the Auburn Tigers from Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. It is a place where the Tigers have had an incredible amount of success over the years. In fact, they have been 14-1 since 2000. Auburn has an 11-game winning streak in non-conference games at home, and they're 228-55-7 at Jordan-Hare over the years. Due to time constraints, we're moving ahead to further action in this game. We'll be right back after these messages. Boy, do people love coming home to a Febreze Fresh house. Febreze works like a fresh breeze to sweep away stale odors and stuffiness so the whole house feels fresh air clean, which you're going to love. A lot. Febreze, the more you use it, the more you love it. They landed on American turf with a sound that changed rock and roll forever. Hey there, Georgie girl. Now, TV Music for You presents The British Invasion. 30 classic hits that revolutionized American music. From fashion to music, everything went British. I'm telling you now. Celebrate this seismic event in rock history with The British Invasion on two CDs or two cassettes. There she was, just walking down the street singing. Do what did it, did it, done, did it, do. The birds in the sky would be sad and lonely. So fairy, cross the Mersey. I don't care what they say, I won't stay in a world without love. They shook our world, and we shook our hips to these exciting hits. Well, let me tell you about the way she loved, the, way the she British loved. are coming. The British are coming. Now relive the British invasion on two CDs or two cassettes. No Call this toll-free number now to order the British invasion. Two CDs, twenty-six ninety-nine. Two cassettes, twenty-one ninety-nine. Plus shipping and handling. Have your credit card ready and call now. Second and goal from the seven-yard line. Play action, Campbell rolling, throwing, completing, and Wallace is in for the touchdown. Cooper Wallace, a seven-yard touchdown from the arm of Jason Campbell. It's not the first time Wallace has gotten cheers in Alabama. Now the Tigers trying to tie it up. Damon Duvall. And the kick is good. We are all even. Syracuse at number 25, Auburn. Well, Cooper Wallace is the beneficiary of the Cadillac. After all the times that this guy has been running, play action ends up being wide, wide open. Campbell is thrilled. The score is tied. NFL 2002 is here, and this year, Sports Illustrated and NFL Films want to knock you out with the ultimate NFL package. You'll get the official NFL Films highlight video of your favorite team, available on DVD or VHS, plus an NFL team bobblehead doll, both free with your paid subscription. With your official NFL team highlight video, you'll see who'll do what to who in 2002. Call now and you'll also get an exclusive team logo NFL bobblehead doll free. 
pick a team, any team. The choice is yours. Both are free when you order 55 issues of Sports Illustrated for only $1.59 an issue. Save more than 50% off the cover price. When you use your credit or debit card, you'll also get this fleece stadium blanket embroidered with the Sports Illustrated logo free. Get the best of NFL 2002. Three great gifts free from Sports Illustrated and nowhere else. Get into it. Syracuse University, believers in the art of becoming. You are watching ESPN2's coverage of college football, where the Syracuse Orangemen are taking on the Auburn Tigers from Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. It is a place where the Tigers have had an incredible amount of success over the years. In fact, they have been 14-1 since 2000. Auburn has an 11-game winning streak in non-conference games at home, and they're 228, 55, and 7 at Jordan-Hare over the years. Due to time constraints, we're moving ahead to further action in this game. We'll be right back after these messages. Shannon Shaw, Ray Lewis, come see me. This is about me and you. I'm challenging you. I'll be waiting. I made you. You might have taught me a little bit too much. Ray, you couldn't tackle me in a phone booth. Come on, get tackled. Because I told you so. You want to go? You bet you I want to go. Don't make me come back there. Ray and Shannon have their game on. Do you? Madden NFL 2003. If it's in the game? EA Sports. It's in the game. Rated E for everyone. Uh, a father teaching his son about cars. Teaching? Look at that brake dust buildup, Manny. Ooh. You know, Quiet Stop Brake Ceramic Lining cuts down on squeaking and brake dust. Right now, he would save up to $40 on Raybestos Quiet Stop Brake Service. Just see store for details. They'll make that kid's job a lot easier. And Dad's car a lot quieter. Looks like it's time for a father and son trip to Pep Boys. Pep, Pep Boys. We're, we're car, car people. people. What do y'all mean? Where's the dick? <laughs> Only Tostito Scoops have the bite-sized bowl-shaped design that's perfect for dipping and dunking every time. I thought that was a myth. <laughs> so however you like to dip, there's only one dip lover's chip. I own this court. Yeah. No, no, I really own this court. You guys got to go. <laughs> Tostito Scoops, the dip lover's chip. Attention inventors. Need a patent? Then you need Inventec, the launch pad for new ideas. Only Inventec offers a free new product market analysis and a free bonus video. It's the first step towards a patent and marketing success. Call 1-800-516-7766. With your market analysis, learn the secrets the pros use to take it to the next level. Call now and receive your free analysis, free marketing info, and a free video. Call 1-800-516-7766 to receive your free package. Fourth quarter here at Jordan-Hare Stadium. I'm Jeff Hellinger with Todd Christensen and Stacey Pates. Auburn has been threatening here in the second half, but they can't quite turn the corner. Looking at first and ten in Syracuse territory. The give is to Cadillac straight ahead. And he picks up a few yards before he is stuffed by Keon Walker. We have talked a lot about Keon tonight. Strong safety from Hoboken, a seventh tackle of the ballgame. Second and five. That was a 30-second carry for Carnell Williams. And I was just thinking, you know how many carries those other runners have had? Smith and Brown and some of the others who had 100 yards coming into this game. Nada. Nada. Williams has carried the ball every single time except for the quarterback. Second and five now. Rolling to the left. Campbell will keep the football. Loses it as he goes out of bounds. Tackled by Clifton Smith. And it's a gate of three. Well, there's a stunner. Number nine all over the field making a play. That, that guy's just got to be tired. He just has to be gassed. You, you can know. tell by that walk, he's struggling a little bit. Look at Cadillac. This. 
Now, see, that's interesting because coming into the game, we'd heard so much about these young runners. And Tommy Tubber wasn't kidding when he said, guess what? He said, Cadillac's going to get the bulk of the carries. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be unanimous. Yeah, to what Claret is to Ohio State, Cadillac certainly is to Auburn. It defines what they do offensively. Third and two. Play action across the middle. Oh! the touchdown Brandon Johnson just slipped behind the defenders well they hadn't anticipated that the fullback was going to be one of the receivers but how exciting for the youngster remember he was the one that got dinged and he's probably saying right now hey yo 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 don't be hitting me on the head like that <laughs> remember he sat out with what appeared to be a concussion for a time Damon Duvall with a point after attempt and it is good but the penalty markers are down that is a play the Atlanta Falcons use all the time with Bob Christian. Prior to the snap, both start. Christian, sir. Offense. Christian. Oh. See a five-yard oh. penalty. Oh, I still like the fine fullback from Northwestern. Yes, he is. And, and, and that is a play that always surprises defense. Sure. I mean, you can all, if you have a fullback who can catch the ball, it, it, it's a great weapon. Well, when the guy hasn't touched the ball the entire game, what do you expect? You know, of course, he's, he's been playing decoy forever now. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Damon Duvall with the point after attempt. And it is good. So Auburn finally has its lead on Syracuse here in the fourth quarter. 24-17. Night's sleep, no big deal? Look again. This x-ray shows no support for your neck and spine when you toss and turn on an ordinary pillow. Introducing the Contour Cloud for incredible support and comfort. See the same person on the Contour Cloud? Neck and spine are straight and supported. That's because of its four exclusive therapeutic features. First, patented soft touch memory layer molds to fit your head, neck, even your ear for unparalleled softness and comfort. Second, yellow wedge provides additional cervical neck support. Support. Third, blue base supports and aligns your spine for a great night's sleep. And finally, this exclusive crescent helps relieve uncomfortable pressure on shoulders. It gently cradles your head and neck. It even cradles your back. I need neck support, and I used to use that the, uh, the egg carton type pillow, I think you know what I mean, and there is just no comparison. This pillow is the most comfortable pillow I've ever used, ever. With other pillows, I wake up, I have numbness in my fingers, I have uh, 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 pain in my shoulder, I'm sleeping on my side, whereas with this pillow here, I wake up and feel as though I've gotten a good night's sleep. Watch again how ordinary pillows simply don't support you. Now see how the Contour Cloud cradles your head in softness as it supports and aligns your spine. Thousands have paid $100 for this plain memory foam pillow, but the Contour Cloud is just $19.95. No other pillow combines these extraordinary levels of comfort and support. But wait, call now and we'll double your comfort for just one dollar. That's right, when you order one pillow at the regular price, you get a second contour cloud for just one dollar. Now you'll have a matching set or use one as a gift. Over one million have already been sold at the regular price. Don't miss out. Call right now. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-380-3388. Get your second cloud pillow for just $1 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-800-380-3388. Don't wait. Call 1-800-380-3388. You are watching ESPN2's coverage of college football, where the Syracuse Orangemen are taking on the Auburn Tigers from Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. It is a place where the Tigers have had... An incredible amount of success over the years. In fact, they have been 14 and 1 since 2000. Auburn has an 11 game winning streak in non conference games at home, and they're 228, 55 and 7 at Jordan Hare over the years. Due to time constraints, we're moving ahead to further action in this game. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, I'm Steve Young. I'm the quarterback. We're the leaders of the team. You should always listen to us.
Hi, I'm Chris Berman. I'm the best host on TV. I'm the star. Sunday NFL Countdown, 11 a.m. on ESPN. You're not ordinary. You're not average. You're something special. For all your floor covering needs, come to Gardner Carpets. For fine home furnishings, Jordan's is right next door. Gardner's huge buying group guarantees you the lowest prices. Jordan's now has new designer lines with items you can't find anywhere else. Gardner's offers the area's largest selections of carpet, designer rugs, ceramic tile, and wood with expert installation. If you need extra help, Jordan's offers in-home consultation. Whatever your decorating needs, come to Jordan's and Gardner's. We're side by side. Auto Trim Design of Montgomery is your total truck and car accessory shop. Come in and see our new showroom and display. Brush guards, step bars, worn winches, diamond toolboxes, speed liner, bed liner, spoilers, tinning, wood trim, TV system, sunroof, custom graphics, fleet lettering, customizing. Let our friendly, experienced staff help you find the specialty items to make your truck or car reflect your style. Come see us today. Auto Trim Design. This has held the ball for seven minutes. The 15th play of the drive coming up top. And they've gone with their three wide receiver package. I think this is a good idea for this reason. You can get safeties out of run support that way. Second and goal from the two. Noon's rolling. In trouble. Throwing. And it is oh, oh, oh. Touchdown, David Tyree. Syracuse. What a catch. Whoa, a two-yard touchdown catch with a degree of difficulty of 10. And Nunes is an absolute magician. He's seven for eight on this drive and delivers this ball in a sea of blue shirts. This is a great job. Chris Davis, the fullback, puts a tremendous block to get him to the outside. Colin Barber with a point after attempt to tie the football game with 23 seconds left. Barber's kick is good. And we are all tied up at 24 all with 23 seconds remaining. So visions of Penn State and Iowa who went to overtime before the Hawkeyes were able to secure a victory in Happy Valley. I genuinely thought that when they went with the three wide receiver package they were going to run but instead they decided to roll out on a run pass option. Watch the block right here. Springs him to the outside. He gets Dan's beyond the ground. Now he's not sure. He knows he's not going to outrun him. Look at that quail and look at Tyree come underneath. <laughs> One of the blue shirts needed to lay out or at least put a hand on it. Now look for yourself if number 81 gets his hands underneath it. He does it, dude. Great catch. Noon's on the drive, 7 of 8, 62 yards. The drive, 15 plays, 80 yards. And a two-yard touchdown catch. You know what? That was, did you notice? That was kind of a muted celebration. I think there's some serious fatigue over there on that sideline. And of course, frustration in the first seven drives, but the one reason why this one seemed to work, you're looking at right there. Number 11 comes in and does his Frank Reich impersonation. <laughs> he does indeed. Wow. The Buffalo Bill action. Man out of Maryland, who was a magician at those comebacks. Now here's a great relief pitcher. Here's the question you always ask here with 23 seconds remaining in the game. Don't you just kick it deep? Every time they scoop kick and they get it at the 40 yard, I need to figure that out. There you go. And it is high, and it will be returned by Roderick Hood. And Hood is thrown out of bounds short of the 20 yard line. Thursday at 7.30 Eastern on ESPN, it's Bowden Bowl 4 as running back Greg Jones. Florida State hosts quarterback Willie Simmons in Clemson. College football Thursday brought to you by Circuit City on ESPN. See if Florida State can rally after what occurred in Louisville. We're talking about the number of people that maybe Syracuse is running out at. Guess who made the tackle? David Tyree, the guy that just scored the <laughs> touchdown. Jeez. Makes the tackle on the kickoff coverage. Amazing. 19 seconds left. But Auburn will just down it and play for the overtime. Well, guess what? You know, if you were watching earlier today on ESPN and you saw the Iowa-Penn State game and thought, you know what, what a thriller that was going into overtime. There's no way they're going to duplicate that. Well, you were wrong. 
I did not think Iowa was going to win that football when it went to overtime, the way the momentum had changed. Well, Down 23 points at one point, okay, Penn State. Okay, so where's the momentum now? Well, it's been with Auburn most of the night, but it shifted back to Syracuse. Well, who knows, though, right? Because they're so tired. Tired or not, it's on to overtime here at Jordan Hare in Auburn, Alabama. Tigers and the Orangemen are all tied at 24. The heat is on when mozzarella, pepper jack, cheddar, and nacho cheese sauce form a taste to die for. Don't miss the new cheese extreme quesadilla. Mm, four cheeses. Four, four. You gotta be insane. So what happened? I don't know what happened. I have no idea why she dumped me. We always treated her right. Yes, I did. I did, didn't I? Yes, you did. I did. You did. She's insane. Man, I don't even know what you saw her. I mean, I would never go out with her. Oh, I know. She'll come crawling back. Don't worry. You guys need a bud. Thanks. They have a story to tell, and they tell it in song. TV Music For You presents Once Upon a Song. 34 great hits performed by the world's best-loved musical storytellers. Wake up, Maggie, I think I got something to say to you. I learned the truth at 17. You see, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. Once Upon a Song brings you over two hours of classic story songs by the artists who made them famous. The devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. I heard my mama cry. I heard her pray the night Chicago died. I knew a man Bojangles and he danced for you. Today, Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. And the cats in the cradle and the suit. Once Upon a Song on two cassettes or two CDs. This offer is not available in stores, so call now. Call toll free to order Once Upon a Song. Two cassettes, $21.99, two CDs, $26.99, plus shipping. Have your credit card ready and call now. And we are ready for overtime. The Orangemen and the Tigers deadlocked at 24 visions of 1988 in the Sugar Bowl when these two teams went to overtime. That's yeah, that's right. And of course, you know, if you've been watching enough football, I don't have to explain it to you in terms of the operation, how things change. And ultimately, if it gets to that third overtime, the two point conversion. You know what I'm thinking right now is that if the coin toss, of course, you want to go on defense. But I'm thinking that Syracuse's defense has to be just so fatigued right now. And, of course, conversely, the one guy on the field who's not tired, Troy Noons. Yeah. <laughs> so he's hot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that it's possible if Syracuse wins the toss. They might not want to go on offense. Interesting thought. Yeah. Do and we? Sure enough, it's Syracuse going on offense, and I don't think that Paul Pasqualoni is all that upset. Hey, they got it going right. They're hot. Might as well. Noons was absolutely masterful on that last drive. All right, let's see if he can keep it rolling. How about the second half? It has certainly had its share of ups and downs for Auburn. Well, it has indeed. Johnson sneaks out of the backfield and gets a touchdown. And at that point, you thought that Auburn was just going to hang in there. But instead, Noons comes off the bench, plays the hero, gets the ball to Tyree, and justifiably excited. And now he comes out to do it again. Not bad numbers right there. All right, here we go into overtime. On first and 10 from the 25-yard line for Syracuse. Give. It is Walter Reyes picks up two tackled by Junior Rosebrain. Bring up second and eight. Have you ever watched an overtime game or been to one or broadcast one where the first play 
was not a handoff to the tailback off tackle. Well, there's a certain no, I'm, I'm conservative asking. thought of, I, I, of... I understand. But the point is, then, is that if you decided to go with the reverse or a bootleg or something like that, everybody would be stuck. But you can you can get so conservative in these kinds of instances where you're so afraid exactly. to make a mistake... That's right. Good point. ...that you try to ensure against one. Yep. Second and nine for Syracuse. Live formation behind Noon. Hitch, Damian Rhodes. And Rhodes is pushed out of bounds by Horace Willis, the left cornerback, the second tackle. They have not run that option the entire game, and it's a great call. It's the misdirection option that you see frequently now. Fake left and go right. Now watch as he cuts up field. He's got a blocker and his wide receiver. Cut to the inside. Cut to the inside. Instead, he runs out of bounds. If he cuts behind Tyree, he gets the first down. Yeah. All right, here we go. Third and four from the 19-yard line. Penalty markers go no, fly. No, 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 no. You know what? That shouldn't be the case. You could see, you could see that Nunes was screaming, coming over to the official, trying to get a timeout because somehow the 25-second clock had fooled. Had... On the offense, five-yard penalty, still third down. Evidently, you know what? Evidently, Nunes saw it. Nunes saw it and wanted to, see, to, to fool him and to get the timeout first. Joe Donnelly, the tight end, comes in for Lenny Cusimano. But they already had all the people on the field, so with 12 people on the field, the official had to call it. So that makes it a little bit tougher, third and nine. <laughs> Call it about third and eight and a half here. Noon's quick throw, and it's complete down to the nine. Penalty marker goes flying after Jared Jones makes the catch, a gain of 15 yards. Jared Jones is coming of age. He has made some great catches. I think that's defensive pass interference, and they'll let that go and take the play. From Somerville, New Jersey, is Jared Jones, 5'11", 190. Defense. Penalties decline. First down. I think that's about the fourth slant route that Noons has had. But he had people right in his face, and he ends up getting knocked down here third and eight. Take a look at the people in his face right there. Throws it. Has to throw over the top. Good call by the official, but great concentration on the part of Jones with the defender draped all over it. First and goal for Syracuse. Troy Noons at quarterback. Blitz coming from Auburn. And the handoff is to Walter Reyes, and Reyes is brought down by Wayne Dickens. The left tackle, it's a loss of one. One time here, one time if they go with the bootleg. He has yet to do that. He has yet to bootleg, and he has all that green on the one side of the field. A reminder that baseball tonight is coming up next on ESPN2. Second and goal. Noons on the pitch. It's to Reyes. And he picks up about four yards, or maybe three with the spot, tackled by Mark Brown. I'm telling you, they must have some real confidence in Noons here to keep getting down to third down where you know he's probably going to have to throw, and he's been delivering time and time again. Nine for ten now at this point. One good thing we need to remind our viewers here. One good thing for Syracuse. The defense here with the five-minute gap and now with this drive is getting some rest. Third and goal from the seven. Here comes the blitz. Rolling. Looking his news. In trouble and down he goes. Carlos Dansby on the blitz. It's a loss of eight. Dansby has been their big play defender throughout this year has been able to get 37 points in their first four games off of his turnovers. And in this case, Dansby is out in coverage, but now he says, no, I'm coming. I am coming. And really, that's a situation where he should have thrown that away. Noons needed to get rid of that because now it's a 32-yarder. 32-yard attempt by Colin Barber. In trouble. And down. Jared Jones and Auburn survives on this possession. Well, well. Hard to 
couldn't tell if it was a bad snap or if Jones just dropped it. But boy, oh boy, evidently D'Amato, he's a walk-on. Jeff, he's a walk-on. They had regular snappers, but he had played so well in the preseason, they gave him the job. Thick and fumble Ruski there from Oh, look at that. It ends up hitting, it ends up hitting his guard. Mm -hmm. The ball ricochets off of Kevin Sampson, who's right next to him. Jones does whatever he can. Wow, how frustrating for mm -hmm. the Orange. All right, here comes Auburn. I'm thinking a lot of Carnell Williams here. What do you think? It makes <laughs> first and ten from the 25. And again, there's the Carnell Williams. Williams making a great move and spinning down to the 11-yard line. Gashlin on the tackle. It's a gain of 14. You, sir, are the offensive coordinator of the moment. Now the decision, the, the difficult, well, not so difficult decision, but it can be a trying one, is for Bobby Petrino, offensive coordinator, and Tommy Tuberville to say, hey, you know what? Are we going to get to the middle of the field for the field goal and just set it up, or are we going to try and go for a touchdown? In a lot of cases, you might not want to put the pressure on the kicker because don't forget, Damon DeVoe is only three for six on the season. First and ten from the 11-yard line for Robert. The handoff is to Cadillac up the middle. Taking tacklers with him and now gang tackled at long last. O'Neal Scott is the first of many. It's a pickup of five yards. Well, of course, of course, now he's in the middle of the field. You see Duvall working on his shoe to make sure he's got everything right. I notice he has those cool shoes, those Morton Anderson ones. You know what those laces off to the side? The one you pay a lot of money for? Yeah. Well, I, they're still good looking. Check those out. Sweet. Williams, 34 carries, 182 yards. Second and five. Oh, goodness. Jumping offside, the Orangeman. Oh, well, that was motion. That, was, that, that was motion by Mark Perra, the left tackle. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. And you can see you can see the consternation on his face. What else can go wrong here? They fumbled. They've made mistakes. They can't get it going. How hard is this? You know you're just running the ball. Ten penalties against Auburn for 76 yards tonight. But in fairness to Perra, you know what? You pointed it out on numerous occasions. The heat and humidity, you know what? It gets to you. All right, second and ten from the 11-yard line. And the give is to Parnell Williams. Jamil Dumas is there. It's a gain of one. And Dumas opts to go after the ball. And we take a look at Duvall. And they've decided this is what they're going to do. All right. Now, of course, you're aware of this. The reason they're doing it now on third down is because if what happens to them, what happened to Syracuse happens to them, they can just fall on the ball and come up with a fourth down. If for whatever reason there's a bad snap or a bad hold, they just hold on to it and give it another shot. But in this case, the ball is right down in the middle of the field. Williams did a nice job of doing that. 27-yarder. Damon Duvall from 27 yards out in the overtime. And the kick is blocked. What an effort. Blocked by Syracuse. The defense coming through. It's Jeremiah Mason. Jeremiah Mason comes up at the top. Wow, what a play. He shows his vertical, number 24. He's the jumper. Wow, what a play. A red shirt freshman delivers on the field goal attempt by Damon Duvall. What a great effort on the part of Mason. And the thing that he does so well is it's just a little bit, just slightly, he has to hook it. You saw that it wasn't quite in the middle, and Mason does a great job of being right where the football is going to be. Watch 24 come to the left of your screen. He's going to come over the top. Take a look at him go. He's up. He's got it. Unbelievable. Are you ready for high-definition vision? Now, HD Vision takes sunglass vision technology to a whole new level. Just like high-definition TV is the ultimate in viewing clarity, HD Vision makes the world come alive in brilliant, defined color like never before. Crystal clear images so rich and vivid, you won't believe your eyes. Wow, these are fantastic. The clarity is just great. The colors are beautiful. So much more vibrant, more contrast. It's amazing. Wow, I can see why they call these high definition. Everything's so clear. The secret is HD glare blocking technology. Look, even $100 sunglasses can allow dangerous rays of glare to get through that distort your vision. But HD vision lenses are so advanced, they help block the dangerous glare rays, allowing rays that focus clearly to get through. 
They're a must on the road all year round when facing disturbing glare. That'd be an excellent pair of driving glasses. These are like magic. It's amazing. Everything's so clear. The color through these sunglasses, they, it just jumps out at you. Ordinary dark lenses just darken your vision and can actually dull your appearance. But with HD Vision's attractive Euro-style design, not only will the world look brighter and more alive, but you will too. They probably cost 100, 120, 75, at least $100. Don't overpay for high markup sunglasses that can let in dangerous glare. Now you can experience an exciting new world in high definition brilliance with HD Vision. Styled with rich bronze alloy Euro design frames, an incredible value at just $19.95. But that's not all. We'll also include our patented HD visor clip for your car, a $10 value, yours free. Now high definition is always at your fingertips. But call right now and you'll get a second pair of our amazing HD Vision glasses, a $20 value, absolutely free. That's an incredible $50 value for just $19.95. But you gotta call now. Here's how to order. Call the number on your screen and order HD Vision for only $19.95. Order now and you'll get a second pair absolutely free. That's right, two pair of HD Vision glasses and the visor clip, all for just $19.95. This incredible value is yours while supplies last, so call and order your HD Vision today. Man of the moment, Jeremiah Mason, the red shirt freshman who comes through with a block on Damon Duvall. And, and, and you know that motion penalty really looks large right now, doesn't it? It does, it does. But it, they get a great push. The people up front were able to get a great push. Ferrara is able to get a great push. Take a look at, they push the guy back and that enables him to get up. Now, you and I have been watching the games all the time. Here is Cadillac who gets the call on the left side and Keon Walker making the stop. No game. The point I was about to make is that how many times do we hear of some guy that has a 40-inch vertical or 39 or 42 and I both roll our eyes? I don't know what Mason's vertical is, but it was good enough right there. Absolutely taking it up top to use the basketball term. The rejection. Now Auburn looking at second and ten. You're a former scout team. You would know that. <laughs> Soaring above the rest. Out of the shotgun. That's right. Jason Campbell on the quarterback draw. And brought down at the 18 by O'Neill Scott. Scott. Seven tackle. Pick up of seven. Nice job by Jason Campbell. Obviously, picking up the first down is crucial. But having said that, if they're not able to pick up the first down, when you come out again as a kicking team, you don't feel very good about yourself. You feel a little bit discombobulated, and then you try too hard and get out of yourself a little bit. Player injured right now is O'Neal Scott. Todd, how, how winded are these teams right now? I mean, they're, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> they're Walking gassed. dead. Yeah, you know, the way he's stretching right now, it certainly seemed to indicate cramps. you got to get some fluids in him. So easy to, to say that up here. I'm telling you. These games... I remember when I was playing in Miami and some of the other humid locales. Oh, man. We, I had a teammate one time in a game like this. It was a game It was, it was maybe a little bit harder. It lost 18 pounds in just the one game. Yeah. Dangerous. Wow. Baseball tonight coming up next. Bo Jackson was a teammate of yours for the Raiders. He was. He was. He was amazing. The genetic gods were extremely kind to Vincent Bo Jackson. Can't go anywhere in this town without a framed picture of him in every room, every building. Campbell rolling right, looking, firing, and it is complete to Marcel Willis, who makes the grab. It's a gain of 12 yards, tackled by Steve Gregory. And ever since Campbell came in the game to play quarterback, we have not called that name. We have not called the name Marcel Willis. But this time, when he's able to roll outside of the pocket and buy time, Willis on the comeback route is able to come back and make the catch. Here he buys time. Of course, the play action is going to be great because Williams has carried the ball 900 times. Take a look as he comes back to the ball. That's very tough on a corner, in this case, Gregory. First and goal from the six. Campbell on the give to Cadillac, trying to turn the corner. A race to the end zone. Touchdown. Cardell Williams, the Cadillac, finding the corner of the end zone. Six-yard touchdown. Anthony Smith is the free safety who replaced O'Neal Scott. And he just gets juked. And it's amazing to me that Williams, after all these carries, can put the move that he just did in the open field. Wow. What a run by Carnell Williams. <laughs> this
this, huh. this also shows how important you are to the team, okay? When a guy gets hurt, usually one trainer comes out. In this case, <laughs> three trainers come out. And if Tuberville didn't have his headset on, he'd spit out there, too. I'm telling you, there are 83,667 who want to come out and help him to his <laughs> feet, too. His feet, yeah. And all right, Damon Duvall for the point after attempt. Isn't it fun? Isn't it fun when a guy's as good as advertised? Isn't that fun? He is amazing. He's doing a long list of tremendous running backs here at Auburn. 37 carries, 187 yards, and one touchdown. Those 37 carries are a career high for Cadillac. Duval's fought after attempt is good. All right, so it's 41 carries now. Let's update that. Take a look at the move as he cuts to the outside. Anthony Smith has him right there. Now watch the move he jukes him. That's an experience. You can see his head actually duck. In the, in the football nomenclature, that's what's known as losing your jock. In the basketball lexicon, it's known as getting your ankles broken. <laughs> but Williams right there. A little bit of hesitation, cuts to the outside. And that powerful 5'11", 205 is not to be denied. Time to see if Syracuse can answer with Troy Noons at quarterback. He has been terrific here in the second half in relief of R.J. Anderson. 8 of 9, 76 yards. And again, straight ahead, up to the 20. It's a gain of 5 for Walter Reyes as Mark Brown makes the stop, second and 5. I like the play calling here by George DeLeon. You know what? Time's not a factor. It doesn't matter. You don't have to score right away. Five-yard pickup, not bad. And if you're defense, if you're on the defense now, what are you doing? Oh no, they got okay. Now they've got their options. Damian Rhodes checks into the ball game. Number one behind Troy Noons. The pitch is for Rhodes. Rhodes wants to throw. In trouble. Shifting direction. Now throwing the football, and it is caught. By Troy Are you Nunes. kidding me? Did he make the catch? Me? Nunes made the catch, the quarterback. That was not a planned play. So many times you've seen that, the hand, the handoff on the throwback, that was not a planned play. A pickup of 15 yards on super flea flicker. Huh. Nunes pitches the ball for all intents and purposes. Now, Nunes is right here. Take a look at him. Now, he's scrambling around. Now, watch what Nunes does. I'm gone. Here, give it a shot. He sees him, throws it. It looks like it's going to be. Look at that. He catches it and falls backwards. What a great play by number 11. First and goal from the four. The give straight ahead to Chris Davis, the fullback. And about one yard. Mile. Chris Davis, the team barber, needed to shave a little bit more off the yardage there to get in the end zone. So are you more impressed with Noons, the thrower, or the receiver? Well, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I mean, obviously, if we had the old players of the game for both sides, obviously Cadillac, but you've got to give it to Noons. Passing and catching, wow. Second and goal from the two, wishbone. Four downs, four downs here. And off and a touchdown, Walter Reyes in for six. His second touchdown of the ball game. That play has been very good to them. The left halfback with the lead back out of the wishbone. And the Orangeman answer. Now Colin Barber, the point after attempt. And the chant at Jordan Hare. Block that kick. I'd say a swinging gate right here. What do you think? <laughs> uh, okay. Because now we're heading into the third one. They got to go for two right? overtime. That would have been that would have been courageous. Barber, the point after attempt is good. Now be honest, be honest with me here. Did you think that after Auburn scored, that Syracuse would come back out here and score again? Um, no. But they did. Reyes in for the score. How great is this? Gentlemen, top them off! That's a pop.
possible? Welcome to the 21st century, Mr. Mixit. It's new Prestone Quick Fill Antifreeze. Quick Fill? It's perfectly pre-mixed for topping off, so you're guaranteed the right balance every single time. No more mixing, no more mess, and no more hassle. Better luck next time, sport. She makes it look so easy. It's already easy. I make it look good. <laughs> Prestone Quick Fill Antifreeze. It's Prestone season made easy. Every day, Ameridad helps more people with money problems. My credit card debt was outrageous. Then I called Ameridad. They contacted my creditors and got my payments almost cut in half. Ameridad is a nonprofit organization that offers free consultations to consumers seeking to eliminate their debt. Every month, I pay our credit card bills. But the balances never seem to get smaller. Ameridad got our interest rates reduced. And now the balances are dropping dramatically. Call 1-800-233-0500. Ameridad, helping America get out of debt. Upgrade your vacation program. Come to Arkansas. For your own free Arkansas vacation planning kit, call today. There is a start, there is a finish, and in the journey between, there are dreams. The NCAA Hall of Champions keeps these dreams alive for you. More than a museum, the NCAA Hall of Champions takes you on an interactive journey. Relive some of the most inspirational moments in collegiate sports history and walk in the steps of a student athlete. At the NCAA Hall of Champions, you'll find something for every fan. Discover what it means to be a champion. The journey begins inside. was not a planned play. Now keep your eye on Nunes. The receivers are going to come down through. He wants to throw the post route. Watch Nunes as he comes over. He does not come over there and run the route, but instead he stops and watches the play. He's just standing right there watching the play. Now as he cuts back against the grain, Nunes says, oh my gosh, he's in trouble. I'm taking off. I'm going to take off. Watch this catch. What a great <laughs> catch. It was behind him and he reached back and made it. Oh, fantastic. That is amazing. Teams combined for 154 plays, 799 offensive yards, 36 first downs. First and 10 from the 25 for Syracuse. The pitch running to the near side, and down goes Walter Reyes. It's a loss of five. Fine job by Junior Rosegreen, the strong safety. Great penetration, but now Rosegreen is hurting a little bit. Oh, he's just coming over to dust off his helmet. I guess he's all right. Don't take off those helmets in the NFL these days. No, that's that's a very good point. <laughs> take a look now as he comes to the outside. Rosemary comes up. Shoestring tackle at the 30-yard line. Most certainly Syracuse is going to have to throw him out. Second and 15 now from the 30-yard line. We'll go with three receivers. Two to the top of your screen. One to the bottom. Setting up the screen. And Walter Reyes tackled by Mark Brown. It's a gain of three. Mark Brown makes a great play. Mark Brown is not fooled by the screen, but if he does not make the tackle, take a look in the middle. Now watch right here. It's a middle screen, lets everybody go. He's got white shirts in front of him. Brown is able to duck away from the block, sprint forward, and get Reyes. Well, that's, that's a very athletic play by number 52. Now you've got third and one, third and 12 from the 27. And a timeout. Syracuse. Troy Nunes will come over. Here's the consideration that Paul Pasqualoni and George DeLeon have to think about here. And that is, is right now you're looking at about a 44-yard field goal. Third and 12, the chances of coming up with that are not terribly good. I'm thinking that a play along the lines of getting to the middle of the field, knock that off about five, six yards, because as you and I have talked about throughout the year, the difference between field goals inside the 40 versus outside the 40, it drops Huge. precipitously Absolutely. when it's outside of 40 yards. Huge. In the overtime, it has been unbelievable at times. Now the snap, the snap was just unfortunate. It ricochets off the guard. You think it's open, game's over. Instead, Mason with the high leap and blocks it. Now they turn around and you think, well, they're going to be a little bit depressed. But instead, Parnell Williams shows the juke and hits the pylon. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, this is over because you know the Syracuse is too, what? They're not too tired? They're still in this thing? Wow. Triple overtime. 
Third and long coming up. Third and 12 from the 27-yard line for the Orange. They might consider. They might consider that screen again. Why not? Noons wants to throw. Deep drop. And short hops the ball to David Tyree. It'll bring him fourth down. Well, it appeared that he was throwing to Jones. Tyree was on the crossing route, and he was open. Now we see Colin Barber. This, you know what, folks? 43-44 yarder. That's hardly automatic. And, of course, now you have to deal with the mindset of D'Amato in terms of the snap. A 44-yard attempt by Colin Barber. He is hit from 27 tonight. Notice the leg right there of Samson this time. Gives him plenty of room. Kick is long enough, and it is good. That was clutch. Collins Barber from 44 yards out has given the Orangemen a lead at 34 to 31. <laughs> now you're asking that stand, or excuse me, that Syracuse defense to go out there and make one more stand. They <laughs> They have got to be so fatigued, so tired. This is this is just tremendous drama. Oh, these young kids are just putting it all out here. This is great. Syracuse is a big underdog coming Huge. into Auburn, Alabama. Huge. And that line was moving up as the week progressed. But not unlike what we saw from Cincinnati last week against Ohio State. They have absolutely risen. The snap is right on the money, and Barber really punches this one. Shoot, that would have been good from about 54. Jason Campbell wants to throw. Deep drop. And dumping it across the middle. The catch is made by Lorenzo Diamond. And he is run out of bounds at the 14-yard line by Rich Scanlon. A gain of 11. And enough for an Auburn Tiger first down. I didn't understand the secondary for Syracuse on that because they backpedaled so far. Diamond, look at how... Now watch how far back they backpedal, and Diamond is just on this easy little crossing delay route, and nobody goes with him. All the white shirts are far too far down the field. That's an easy catch to throw for a first. First and 10 from the 14. And the handoff is to Cadillac. Churning ahead, Julian Pollard making the stop. It's a pickup of two. It'll bring up second and eight. We have seen a lot of great overtime games in the last few days on ESPN and ESPN2. We're talking about Louisville and Florida State. We're thinking about Iowa today and the victory over Penn State and now here at Auburn with Syracuse. Well, I'm just, I'm just a hair biased, but I do believe I like this one the best. Second and eight from the 12. And look at him slash through there. Clifton Smith making the stop. It's a gain of about five yards. And it'll bring up third and short. Now once again, Bobby Petrino and the offensive staff, what are they going to do? They're close enough that this should be a gimme field goal, but that's what they thought last time. Now, do you, do you have the faith in Campbell to give him the opportunity to throw? And you can see that, that number. Holy cow. I wouldn't have thought that. Hmm. Cadillac, 39 carries, 195 yards, and a touchdown. Third and three. The give is to Cadillac. Cadillac turning, shooting, touchdown, Auburn. Tigers win. that you will see and there have been some great ones in this stadium at running back over the years but what Carnell Williams did tonight against Syracuse was about as good as it gets in college football 40 carries 202 yards two touchdowns including the game winner 
To say that he is a workhorse is just an understatement. He cuts to the outside. The angle taken by the outside linebacker is poor, but you can see the defenders are a little bit fatigued. Williams is unbelievable tonight. Let's go down to Stacey Pace. Coach Tuberville, my goodness, what a game. One word, Cadillac. I'm getting, I'm getting too old for this, too, but <laughs> thank goodness for Cadillac. You know, we didn't play very good the first half, but we fought back and got in overtime, and our guys played hard, and our fans did a great job. Coach, you've got a week off next week. What a blessing. You guys will need it to rest after our three overtimes. Talk about who will you start? Have you decided between Ca uh, Campbell and Cobb? Well, we just have to wait and see how Daniel is. He's got a bad spring ankle, so we'll have to wait and see if he can come back and practice. But... Uh, Five games in the month of September. These guys have paid the price, and we've gotten a lot better. Coach, four wins in a row. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, I have Cadillac. Cadillac. Buddy, what a great game for you. Talk about three overtimes. Buddy, you must be tired. Oh, yeah. First, I want to just give out praise to the Lord. Give me strength to do it. But uh, I'm pretty tired. Uh, we, we really set it up in overtime. Uh, the whole time, we came ahead of time. You know, we felt like we were in the game the whole time. So we just came out taking and executed our offense. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Three overtimes, but you walk home with a win. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Stacey and Cadillac, thank you. Five games in 25 days. 37-34, Auburn in overtime. Up next is baseball tonight. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Todd Christensen, Stacey Pates, and our entire ESPN2 crew, I'm Jeff Hullinger. For summaries and stats of this game, log on to ESPN.com, your home for college football on the Internet.